Hello everyone, welcome to another video where we are talking about Windows Restart or Shutdown event. Now suppose you want to identify who rebooted the computer or when it was rebooted or when the power failure happened due to which computer got rebooted or shut down. That all can be checked by looking at the Windows event. So first we have to understand which event ID is logged for what kind of reboot or shutdown. Let's look at few IDs which Windows admin regularly uses for looking at the reboot event. Okay, let's move to this computer. I am opening Event Viewer, Windows Logs, and here all the reboot event will be logged into system. Let me put a filter here. And there are few commonly used IDs that can be used to track reboot event. That is 41, 1074, and 6008. And you can see here, we have got all kind of event ID that we have put, which is responsible for logging the event for reboot or shutdown. Now here, user 32, it is an information alert and it is logged when someone tried to reboot the computer from the Windows computer. Now here you can see has initiated the restart of this computer on user this one. Okay, so this user have rebooted the computer. Now there is take 008 where we can see previously shut down at this, this computer was unexpected. It means uh, due to some uh, uh, power issue or any other issue like the ESXi failure, the computer was rebooted, uh, uh, you know, uh, rebooted without proper shutdown. And that is the reason it is locked. Now there is another event uh, which is called kernel power 41 event. The system has rebooted without cleanly shut down first. This error could be caused if the system stopped responding, crashed or lost power. Okay. So majorly these three events are used if you want to track uh, power off or power uh, reboot event on the Windows computer. Now how to get this event or how to find the latest event happened on the computer remotely. Correct. We have to use some uh, platform that is the PowerShell. So PowerShell, there is a command which we are going to use, which will fetch all these event IDs from remote computer and it will show you the result. Okay. So we are going to see that we have a two computer, which I have shut down, rebooted, uh, you know, uh, from, uh, from the console. Uh, so all kind of event ID has been locked. Now here I'm going to run the script. Now in the first, uh, script, uh, so what we are going to do here, okay, we have a two script with the same command okay but a uh, little bit different so what we are going to use in the first command in the first command we are going to enter the server name okay so suppose you only want to identify uh, one computer event uh, which is rebooted okay so you don't have to enter the multiple username here so you uh, whenever you run the script you just have to uh, put the computer name here fqtn and that computer name will be used to invoke the command icm is invoke command okay this is a shortcut of icm now uh, what actual script we are going to uh, we are using here that is gate hyphen event and then we are using the computer name which we are entering here okay and then filter hash table okay and then here we are using uh, like applying the filter on the event log okay and that event log is filtered based on the id now here you can see id has been like and log name I have given here system. Okay. If it is the application, you can change it to application and based on that ID will be changed. Okay. As we are trying to find system reboot event or shutdown event, that is the reason we are uh, using the system and ID we have used as a 41107460008. Okay. Now here we have kept max event 5. Okay. Uh, if you want uh, 1, 2, you can give that. Okay. There is no problem at all. So, uh, Max 5 event it will fetch from the remote which matches this event ID. Now here select object name, machine uh, machine name, time created ID and the message. What is the message? Like the message will have all the information who rebooted the computer. So let me show here. Okay. Message is like this one. This information will be uh, generated or uh, will be fetched from the remote computer whenever uh, you run the script. Okay. Now here again, uh, we uh, like we have given the command export CSV. Suppose you want to export that all command from a remote computer to your computer, then you can give this. 
okay uh, generally uh, currently we have hided that okay we don't want to use for the single computer so uh, let me run the script okay and here it is asking me to enter the qdn name uh, exdh01 okay and you can see uh, very easily it fetched uh, all the event ids uh, on the from the remote computer and you can see here the latest command it showed previous system shutdown at this this one was unexpected okay and rest of the command are older one okay so uh, let me uh, okay let me run the command on this computer because i had restarted it uh, a few times ago so it will show the latest one okay so let me run the command again and you can see here uh, we have today's uh, uh, event id generated for this and here you can see uh, process this move has initiated restart of the computer and there is there is a full command okay uh, so whenever you run this command you export this list into uh, into csv you will get the full message even you can uh, you can get the full here uh, full message here in the powershell window okay uh, there is a, another command i'll explain that in a later video so let me ex export this okay and let me run again and you can see the export has been completed power event and you can see here the full command here now the process has been reinitiated restart of the computer this is behalf of user si tech administrator okay so now we got it okay administrator has restarted that computer due on this time okay so time is also captured here so in this way you can fetch a computer event from powershell so let me delete this file because we have to take the you know uh, event from the multiple computer now okay suppose you have a list of computer that uh, from that you have to fetch some event like the reboot event when the computer was rebooted and uh, whether it was the reboot or it was shut down right so uh, based on that you have to give the csp file here okay now here we have created servers as a variable and we have uh, given the command gc gate content from this file live pc.txt and for each server we are running the command okay so whatever the servers are there for each server it will run this command now the command is same every uh, uh, like the everything is the same as what we had used here okay only we have used the for each loop to run the command on each computer so we will get the result all at once okay so here also i have given max event 5 and rest everything is same okay export in the csv file so let me clear this let me open this file for you how many computer there are two computers here okay you can see here two computers have been given now let me run the command now i'm running this uh, powershell script with my uh, administrator credentials so uh, like i already have admin access on remote computer so that is the reason uh, it is not asking for anything else okay now let me uh, publish open that and you can see here okay uh, you can see here each computer have a five events and uh, time created is given and you can see the message here so it have a uh, fake report from each computer in uh, each computer and it will show you uh, who rebooted the computer at what time it is rebooted okay based on the event id you can track this information and you can give uh, many servers in the list and it will page the reader so if you have any confusion uh, while using this command you can very well put into the comment box i'll try to answer that thank you for watching the video